Well, hello everybody. Today I'm here to teach you a really quick tutorial with your ink sets. So this is some tips that I did just now, and I wanted to show you how do we do them. Uh, we didn't use matte top coat, we used shiny. So I'm gonna show you really quick how we did these nice cute tips over here. And I will show you to our new Maxi ink set, okay? So I'll be turning this camera away from me, from my face, and you can see the tutorial. Here we go, let me see. Mm -mm. If I just know how to do this. Perfect. So here they are. So you can see I already have uh, my tips here already prepped. They already have white base. These are our first set up to here, up to the velvet mat. So we have the first set up to here, there are five, I mean, sorry, six on each package. And they're available on our website. So it's six different inks on our volume one and another six different inks and the volume two. Um, I have shiny, the black and white that I use, and velvet mat. So you will have this, uh, you will need velvet matte for a base or shiny to obtain a different results. This one it has a base with shiny. So it's a different look. It has more of a glass look. It looks super cool. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how we're doing this, okay? So I'm gonna put my camera away from here and here we go. Let's see, here we are. So as I told you, I already have our tips already there over here and they're already prepped. So we're ready to, um, to start with this little guys. Just one second, I just need to show you here something. Mm -hmm. Turn this guy out. Okay, so I already prepped my nail tips over here. They have white. Let me know if I can't. There we go. Mm -hmm. So we already have them here and they already prepped them with white. Um, gel polish that is our number 001 I don't know if you can see them just let me go more over here because I can be more and the center here we are sorry some difficulties here with our camera okay here so this ones already have the white base and it's the white 001 of a gel polish collection so I haven't po I haven't had any velvet matte top coat or any shiny so they already have white, they're already cured. So what I'm gonna do before I apply the inks, I'm gonna do our first collection that will be the, the one that contains the pink, the yellow, the purple. So I'm gonna do half of them I'm gonna do with velvet and the other half I will do with shiny so you can see the difference on application. So this is our velvet matte top coat. And you can see it. Over here, sorry. I have some problems here, kind of. Okay, here we are. So this is our velvet matte top coat, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply velvet matte top coat in all of them. And if you have any questions, let me know. So the maxi ink sets that are available now on our website. And right now I believe they are on sale. So you can go check them out. It comes in a package of five. I mean, sorry, me and my five. In a package of six. So you get six different inks. You will need to have a velvet matte top coat or a matte top coat if you have one. And if you have shiny, well then 
then you're set. So there it is, I apply my matte top coat on all these guys. I'm gonna cure them for 60 seconds. And you know what? I forgot, right? So there are ones I'm gonna do half and half. So these ones I will just do, I guess if I already did six there, well, I guess that's it. So this is our inks. So I'm gonna try the first one here. Obviously we're gonna need, I mean not obviously, but you might don't know. We're gonna need a little bit of acetone, a brush that you don't really like much, or that is old. So I have this one over here. It was one of the first lines, one of the brushes from the first line. So you can see it's kinda all over the place. So you need your brush that you don't like much, but will be dipping on acetone, so that way you don't get to destroy your your nice brushes. So over here I have my tips already with velvet. I'm gonna use this one first, so you guys can see how to apply them and the color, the pigmentation of it. I'm not gonna mix any color so you can see how it looks by itself. You can create many designs with it when you um, go on the media. Instagram is a lot of videos out there. I'm just gonna show you here how ours work. So and then after that, you can either go ahead again on the, or then you just put a little bit more, whatever you feel like it. Just uh, make sure you kind of let dry in between coats so that way it doesn't get all watery. I kind of take the excess of my brush on the bottle so I don't have drips or anything like that. So now I'm going to dip my brush in acetone. And you can just go ahead and do Whatever you feel like it, like it doesn't need to be really artistic with this because the look that you want to do is how you want to do it is that is good enough. When you apply different colors and you can see better results or like better different um, finishes. But right now I'm just going to show you this one. So this is the one. So now let me show you another one. This is the orange. And you can see how the product kind of goes crazy when you apply the acetone. Like I said, you can leave it like that or you can go ahead and apply more. All depends on the look that you want. So that's the orange one. If you want to apply more, then you go ahead and put more. And we'll just put this away because I usually drop everything around me. There. There. So you can see it kind of goes everywhere so I'm gonna leave it like that 
So and I can show you the next one. It's really nice and easy to use. You don't need, like I said, you don't need to be really artistic here. The product does it for you. Let it dry a little bit and then come and dip your brush in acetone. Then you can go ahead and start doing your thing. Wipe your brush and then come back with the acetone. can see the colors they're really pigmented I really really like them so here we go now we're gonna do the yellow one oh what's that noise some kind of funky noise Okay, so I have that. So since I'm gonna put the yellow, I should put the pink. So you guys can see it. And since I said we're gonna do half with shiny, I'm not going to do that, but I mean I will. But since I already make the mold mat, I will show you after. See, that's what is important to wipe your brush. So that way, you don't have those kind of things. Those problems. Oh well, just wipe it out. Let me put some more of this stuff. The yellow is kind of hard to see. It's nice when you blend it with a different, um, with a different um, ink. Since I did the one with the yellow on the pink, kind of make a little messy here. But it looks so good. So here they are, four of them. I mean five. And now I want to show you the one, um, what's the one we're missing here? Oh, the green one. And the same, I would apply velvet matte. Really quick, and I'll cure that for 30 seconds, and I'll be ready. So, like I said, first, if you just tune in, have your tips prep with 001 gel polish. This is a white one. Cure it. Come back. Use velvet mat. Cure it. Come back and apply your inks. You can mix and max, uh, match your inks, whatever you uh, feel like you want to do for the design. The inks don't don't does they don't sell separately. You have to buy the pack. The pack will, comes with six of them. We have two volumes, volume one and volume two. The first one that I just did it was this guy over here. This volume number one, and now I'm gonna start with number two. So you can see the two different ones, the two different sets that we have. Okay, since this one is gonna be all ready to go. I'm gonna cure this guy. So, we do have on the volume one, I mean on the volume two, a white ink. So for this ink, um, you will need a dark base. So for this reason, I apply 002 from our gel polish collection. That's the black one. 
and I'm going to apply matte top coat as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cure that too for 30 seconds. So since we have this guy over here, so my last one is the green on the collection number one. So we're going to apply this guy. So there, then I'm going to use the alcohol You can use alcohol, you can use, uh, you can see how runny it gets. I put alcohol just to try it out and you can see how runny it gets. I use acetone, I prefer to use acetone for that reason. So what I'm gonna let do here, I'm gonna let this thing dry for a little bit. So you can see how it will go if you put alcohol. So this is alcohol. And now we're gonna apply acetone and you will see the difference. Let me find it. Okay, so I have acetone now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply it again. dry clean my brush so acetone kind of like dries out the ink and it stays in that place if you apply alcohol it dilutes the ink and it will be just runny as you see that I mean it's a nice effect too like when you do both you can see like how different it gets from this to that. You can still go ahead and play more over here with your inks as long as you don't have a put shiny or any top coat. So you can see. So and if you're not happy with that, then you can apply more. it for this one so this is the set number one so now since I try since I cured the other one I want to show you the white one the white one is kind of funky different and I'm gonna do it in two different ones like two different um, on a mat and I'm gonna do it on a on a shiny surface so I'll show you right now I'm just gonna paint this tip really quick here. This black applies really beautiful. If you don't have it, it's one of our favorites. Like it applies really thin, it's really shiny, really nice black. You don't need that much. And there is, so I'm gonna cure that and I'm gonna show you the second set. So the second set, um, it has different colors, obviously. So we have a blue one here. Don't forget when you receive your inks to shake them. Sometimes the ink has been sitting on the bottom of the bottle. So give them a quick shake, then you can start. So this is the blue one. Like I said, you can let it dry and we can go ahead and open our second one. It's a red one that I really, really like. I think I guys I showed you guys before. This red one is super cool because it's super pigmented. Then you don't need to apply that much. So because my blue one is already dry, I can apply more. And I can 
and start with the red one. So don't forget to brush, I mean to clean your brush, just because that way you don't mix the inks together. So you can see how this red one can be super cool for Valentine's and any actually any other occasion. So I'm gonna let that dry. Now clean my brush and go with the blue one over here. You can apply more if you wish. And like I said, all depends how do you want them to look is how much more you're gonna put on and how much um, acetone you're gonna put on too. So just do whatever you want. It, like I said, it's a lot of designs on the internet and they can show you different things. They make, they do flowers with them. They do a lot of different different things with them so you can do the blooming flower you can deepen um you can dip your brush like this little guy over here you see how tiny it is you see it so you can dip that little guy in acetone and you can go ahead and draw little flowers and then you have like a tie-dye flower It's just like you need more ink. I'll try to do that so you can have you have the idea that you can you can draw many things. Just dip your brush in acetone. See, we can do it over here. I'm just gonna leave it like that so you guys can see what I meant. And I'm gonna continue with my other one. So this is a brown one. This is a really nice one too. So you can do like camouflage. I mean, you just go crazy. Like it's so many ideas to do with these inks. I'm gonna let it dry there. If you use the inks that uh, they sell at uh, the craft stores, I mean, it's nothing bad with that too, but they're so more, they're more runny. They're meant for like larger paints, like one little drop, even just like one little drop, it will just run like crazy. So it won't be, as easy as to do with the brush here that we have because we can control how much product we, can we put on it. So I'm gonna let that sit there while they dry. So, because it needs to dry a little bit with wind coats, so you can do the whole hand at once, like the five fingers, you can do them at once because you're gonna go back and forth. So it's not that much time that you're gonna be wasting doing this. Because one, by the time you do one, you gotta uh, do the other one and you let the other one dry and you go. So yeah, I'm sorry, excuse me. And like I said, let them dry in between coats so you get a better effect, so it's not so runny. And I'm sorry if I can not read that comments because Chris is not here. He's in his favorite store. If any knows Chris, they will know what's his favorite store. that and then we come back here and we come back here with the purple and with the green so 
So yeah, you can achieve so many, so many different designs. Just like that. And that. And the most you play with it, the most <laughs> you cannot let go. So I'm just gonna let go like that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you this red one. So since I apply this much red on the, on the center see here, I'm gonna use my tiny little brush. You can see how tiny it is. It's super tiny. Let me like put it in my nail here. It's a super tiny little brush. So what I'm gonna do with that, I'm gonna dip my brush in acetone. And you can start drawing anything you want. So on the red one, we will do We'll do like a little rose, see if I can do it. So now everybody's like, oh, that's how you do it. Well, if you're really good at doing roses, then you will do better than me. Or at least you know. How to do it. You need the products and you need the techniques. Well, if you can call that a rose, but you have the idea. Okay. So here they are, so I'm gonna leave them here. And with the white one, okay, so this is the white one. I'm gonna, I apply a black base and I apply velvet matte top coat. So now I'm gonna apply the white one. The white one comes on a, on the ink set, set number two. I remember, remember this product is really watery, so please, uh, Take some of the excess of the brush. I don't want to put that much because when we put uh, the acetone, it's going to go crazy. So what you can do after this, if you do this um, stuff like I am doing right now, you can come back and grab your pigments, your dry pigments, and then just apply them with a brush, and you'll get the smoky looking effect. That will be the easiest way. So you can do a little bit more if you want. Like I said, not too much because white will wear overpower the color on the background and you still want to see a little bit of that so we don't cover everything with white and like a fall in a pattern but you can do anything So there it is, that's the white ink. You can come back with a brush, with a liner brush, and then detail, or do more of a marble, whatever you feel like it. So like that's like a, if you want to look more smoky, then you go ahead and use more acetone and then just go on the same pattern that you did, that I did. And see there so that's the white one so that's a really cool one I really 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 like it so that and now I'm gonna do something really cool so I have here a black and a white that I already put uh, so what we, I'm gonna show you now is how it looks with shiny instead of my top coat I didn't know you can do that because the ink's supposed to absorb the matte base coat, but I'm gonna apply shiny, and um, I hear this from Max, so hopefully it turns out good, because I tried it before and it, and it did look good, but now 
that I'm live probably is not going to go my way. So here we go. Sorry, I have to. So I'm applying shiny on top of the base black and base white. So I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds and I'm going to come back here and then just top coat these inks that I already did so you guys can see them. So like I said, we have volume one and volume two. They're available on our website. I'm sorry for my sloppy application here of the shiny, but I'm pretty sure you don't want to see that. A slow application. I'm just gonna chop, chop. It's so hard to do to see the 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 yellow. The yellow is more of a complement uh, complementary color for backgrounds when you mix it with pink or with orange or with green. You will get more added, more of it when you do that. So I'm gonna cure these guys. And I'm gonna show you the one that I apply shiny on them. Oh, so, first of all, we'll do the white so you guys can see that. I'm gonna apply some yellow. And like I said, you can choose your colors that you want to do, but I'm gonna do yellow. Oops, camera, come on. It's some kind of funky noise coming out of somewhere that I can't read it out where. So that is some yellow. Now apply some pink. Because it's a shiny surface, it's different effect. This doesn't go crazy and even we don't need to apply any, um, I what's it called that thing? Oh, acetone. <laughs> you don't need to apply acetone that much because look, it's a different effect that you get with a shiny uh, surface. So you can apply velvet matte and this is how it's gonna look. It's gonna look nice and kind of like marble looking see mm -hmm. and with shiny it's a different look it kind of like the inks kind of want to get together so you can see how really cool i didn't know this like i actually thought the inks will be set on um on matte top coat so now i know you can do it with with a shiny surface and this is a uh, shiny I don't even want to do much else with that. It just looks so cool. I don't know, like you guys can see it. <laughs> Así es, Televisa San Angel. There's the Televisa San Angel showing Max's tricks. Um, so yeah, here is, this is a trick that Max told me and then I was really skeptical about it, so now you see it. So I don't want to really overdo much with it because it looks so pretty already. But maybe some purple. Maybe let's go touch it a little bit with acetone, not too crazy. And not too much. And remember, clean your brush. Hmm. I'm not happy with that one, so I'm going to put a little bit of pink over here. There. That's better. There. 
so it kind of complements. So it just kind of follows the inks and they kind of come together and hug each other. <laughs> so here is, this is with a shiny surface with a white background. So now we're gonna do the black one with shiny so you can see the difference. I'm just gonna um, put shiny on this one so you guys can see the difference. I'm gonna cure this guy so you can see how nice and smoky looking. So since this one I pretty sure it's dry, so we just can I'm just gonna apply shiny and leave it like that. You can see the inks don't run and they stay where they where I put them. So you can apply shiny and, and then that's it, you will be done. You can put some rhinestones, whatever you want to do. So I'm gonna cure those guys and I'm gonna show you now really quick the black one with a shiny top coat, okay? So here we are, we have a, ba a black background already cured. I apply shiny, cure it, and now I'm gonna apply my ink, my white ink, so you can see it over here. That comes in the ink set number two. So I'm gonna apply this I'm gonna try to do kind of like the same, this um, same, and follow the same pattern that I did on the other one, so you guys can see the difference. And like I said, you can mix and match. You can put another color on top of this one if you wish. Sorry, I'm quiet, but trying to trying to show you here. So I'm pretty sure you have seen the smoky nails with different, like a powder color. So after this is dry, what you can do, like I said, you apply different pigments on the on the white side, on the white parts, and that will give you all the coloring looking. So I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna put a top coat and show you the difference between this one and the one with matte. Okay, so I'm gonna... Move a little bit so you can see these guys over here. And I'm gonna cure this other one so you guys can see. So here we have what I have done today. Really quick, I just wanted to show you really quick our tutorials with, I mean, well yeah, like the tutorial with the Maxi ink sets, how to apply them how they look like. You can mix and match all the colors together. Depends on what kind of effect or finishing you're looking. You can see them over here. I'm gonna put them over here. I'll bring up this guy. Put shiny all over them. The number one top coat so far that I know, I mean, it's a lot of nice top coats out there, but I really like shiny. It's really thin, really shiny. And the shine lasts a long time. I'm just gonna do the blue. and show you our final results. Oops, you're in my darling lamp. So here they are. I'm gonna grab my phone so I can show you my mess around here. 
So this is our maxi ink set. As you see, I'm curing that guy over there. When you apply shiny, you can see a more of a glass looking finish. So this is the compare with a matte top coat and the matte and the shiny. You can see the different, how it kind of separates different when you use shiny and when you use matte. So this is our collection number one. And baking over there, we have our collection number two. So I'm gonna bring it up here, oops. So you can see them. See, like I said, you can do anything you want. You can do a rose. Just remember to use a nice brush and you will have that effect. So that's it for today. Um, we're gonna have some really quick and sales this for this weekend, so stay tuned. Look at that, that's super cool. Stay tuned and yes, thank you for making Inel Couture your number one brand. Thank you for all your support here in Canada. And I'll see you. Look at I'm in the middle of doing my nails too. This is a super nice color. This blue is like a cat eye color. Really like it. And I'll see you later what I did with these two nails. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much. Hi, Donna. Thank you so much for watching. You can like and share now. So everybody can see how you use your ink sets. And thank you. Bye-bye.